Hey, I'm Ryan Eversley, and you're watching Motorsport Show. Cool. With GuyCosmo.com. That's right. <laughs> This week on Motorsports Show, we're coming at you hot from the Grand Prix of St. Petersburg. Oh! Welcome to Motorsports Show. We are back for another great episode with you today. And we're here in Miami at the Motorsports Studio. Huh? Check it out. Nice digs, right? We love it here. First and foremost, we want to tell you what's going to be happening on this show. We're talking IndyCar. We're talking aero kits. We have some great interviews and a little bit of the behind the scenes action that if you weren't there, you obviously missed. So stay with us, check this out. The IndyCar season has kicked off this year and things are already heating up. Tempers have been flying and so have some of the crew members. And things are getting a little bit out of control. Bourdais right there on my left, Pagano's on my right. I'm using my regular racing line. He stuck his nose out there and he's, he's off the racing line now, right here. Right? There's no more room, and I mean, uh, I don't know where he was going with it, but yeah, and then he cleans us both out. What did he say He's to lucky you? That I'm, I'm happy both, uh, all, all three of us are, are not injured at all. Um, it, Pagano and I just talked real quick, and he said, there's, he said, you know, you ran me out of room, and I said, there was no room in the first place. I don't know where you want me to put the car, but Bourdais right there, it's, it's tight, it's a tight, uh, it's a tight fit. He put him, his car out there, and now we're all sitting on the, edge, on the side of the road. So I don't know what to say to that. It's, it's certainly a racing incident, but there, there, there wasn't a whole lot of room there to begin with. After the Grand Prix of Louisiana, Sebastian Bourdais was quoted saying, the guys out there, they need to up their games. I mean, we look like monkeys out there. <laughs> Simon Pagano added, it was not a professional move on Ryan Hunter Hunterade's side, and I just can't believe he doesn't see it. It's stupid. And I'm coming for you, Ricky Bobby. Okay, maybe he didn't say that part. We all know I'm cool with Simon. The new era kits were a big topic at the St. Petersburg Grand Prix, and we were able to go over there and ask a few guys about that. You know, street circuits, very physically demanding to begin with, but now with the new aero kits, tell us the difference as the effect on the driver. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a uh, higher pace. You, you really have uh, more, more, strength, more, more stress on your body for sure. It's harder to follow the cars, so you're more prompt to make a mistake when you're behind someone because when you don't have as much air, um, you lose a lot of grip. So it's, it's a little bit more difficult than last year, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll be all right on other tracks. We know you'll always be all right. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Wish you the best. Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, no introduction needed. I am with the ultimate racing legend, Mario Andretti. Mario, it's an honor have you here talk with us. IndyCar has come a long way since you last raced in the series in the 90s. So what are your thoughts on the new aero kits and just the development of the series overall since, uh, since your time behind the wheel? Well, I like to see development, technical development. I think it's something that uh, has kept me motivated uh, all of my years because we always had a new car every year, you know, and then and once they got into this uh, spec series uh, right. syndrome, you know, that side got a, you know, a little bit boring, quite honestly. But uh, with the new uh, aero, you know, specs now that uh, with the aero kits, at least you see some indiv individuality in the cars and, uh, and the cars look pretty trick, actually. So um, uh, that's what I like to see, you know, we'd like to move forward. In addition to all of the on-track excitement at the Grand Prix of St. Petersburg, we wanted to take the film crew over and get a little bit of the behind the scenes action off track. Let's have a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the best parts. If you don't think that the Firestone Indy Grand Prix St. Petersburg is first class, there is a valet service for the scooters. I mean, talk about arrive and drive. It doesn't get any better than this. Michael Andretti strolls up on his scooter hands it off and just keeps on walking. Seamless pit stop and they park it for you. So Kathy, I have to ask you, do the drivers tip well? Sure they do. I mean, we're talking like cash, are we talking like dollar bills, five spots, 20 spots, what, what's going on here? Just their friendliness. So they're cheap is what Kathy's <laughs> telling everybody. No. We're here to talk to some of the fans. We've got a little peephole over here, seeing the cars come by on track. New aero kits on the Indy cars. 
Let's find out what people know about these new aero kits. I think that the more aerodynamic you are, the better you're going to perform in a race situation. That, that is a very well-educated answer. I like that Thank one. You. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, who is your favorite driver? Who's, who's out here that you're rooting for? The guy who's winning, always. If you could drive one, which one would you drive out there? What number? Yeah. I like the purple and blue one. Number eight. Very nice. You know what my answer would be? What? The one that's winning. About the Verizon IndyCar series. We're watching these new aero kits in action. These guys are showing up at probably 150 to 160 at the turn nine kink and they are flat out through the kink. That is awesome. You're at the IndyCar race, right? You got a Superman hat on, you are loving life. Who's your favorite driver? The orange. The orange car. I love the orange car too. If you could drive any one of these, would it be the orange car or would you want to drive the black car out there? Orange. Orange wins. Orange wins. I'm okay. a big fan of Tommy Two Tires. He's not uh, well known on the circuit, but the guy gets around the track. You know what I'm saying? And how do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Okay, good, I'm picking good. up what you're putting down. You don't need to do much in life after this experience now, do you? Well, uh, oh, well I wouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah, I need to stop you there. I think there's a lot of things you need to do in life. As you can see, I clearly have a good time at the races, and so does everybody else. If you ever see me walking around the paddock, be sure to grab me and the camera crew, and we'll have some fun. Next up, Nailed It, one of my favorite segments. Here's a clip you have to see. To work. Not the gentleman he was yesterday, but that was a good pass. As your winner, Keegan Kincaid. Oh, no! He's gone and rolls into the fence just over the finish line and keeps it going. There you go, Sheldon Creed. Stadium super trucks, I mean, that stuff is awesome. And hey, if you can't win, you might as well just flip and get all the attention you can get, right? Absolutely. We think that guy nailed it. Thank you for watching this episode of Motorsports Show. Find us next week, same time, same place, exclusively at motorsport.com. Tweet us your comments at Guy Cosmo and hashtag Motorsports Show. See you then.